Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be visiting Ferrariland. Ferrariland is a theme park located right next to Portaventura World in Salou and Villa Seca, Tarragona in Spain. It's a small park that you usually visit whenever you visit Portaventura since its entrance is adjacent to the park. It does have an additional cost if you want to visit and it has a more limited opening time frame. If you stay in any of the park's hotels, you will get at least one entry for your stay per person unless you're staying in Hotel Mansión de Lucy, which gets you entry to Ferrariland each day of your stay per person. We have a video on Hotel Mansión de Lucy as well, if you're interested, we'll leave a link down below. Returning to Ferrariland. This is a lovely smaller park designed to honor the memory of the mythical Scuderia Ferrari's founder Enzo Ferrari. It has 16 attractions and games, which includes the tallest and fastest roller coaster in Europe, which is named Red Force. I will say, if you're visiting during summer, make sure to stay hydrated and bring lighter clothes and loads of sunblock as the park is quite sunny, there's not a lot of shade and it can be quite hot. I also recommend that if you want to go into the Red Forest, the best time is usually not the time they open, since everyone, especially the younger crowd, tends to run to the line and it becomes chaos. If you go first time in the day, just keep in mind that you'll wait for a little bit longer in line. If anything, go to Flying Dreams or the Thrill Towers first, as they're next in popularity and they fill up pretty quick once Red Force starts emptying up. Next to Red Force, Flying Dreams and the Thrill Towers are the most popular rides in the park as I said before. Don't be fooled by the size of this park, I assure you there's loads to do in Ferrariland. As for my favorite ride, I have to say without a doubt it'll be Red Force first row. There's just something extremely thrilling about it. But if you don't particularly enjoy roller coasters, you can still visit the park. As it has milder attractions like this one, fun shows and their restaurants are very nice. You also have access to viewing areas for most of the rides. Overall, this is a very fun, smaller park that complements Portaventura perfectly. It's perfect for the whole family and it's a different experience than what you get from Portaventura. Plus, if you're a fan of Ferrari and speed, you'll love this place. When it comes to the perks of this park, I love the theme of it, its rides, and how it feels like a piece of Italy and Ferrari in the middle of Spain. In the not so negative side, I wish it was a little bit bigger because I can never get enough. Plus, I wouldn't mind a bit of more shade to the park. We've been a few times in different seasons and I just find it too exposed every single time. You also have a theme store of Ferrari, lots of kids rides that you can ride too. There's lots of places that you can take pictures at since the park is very nicely designed. Now let's be honest, if you're like me and my husband, this is your kind of ride. Red Force is just something else. You have a main restaurant that you can sit down to eat or you can choose the smaller fast food style restaurants as well. This is the restaurant menu they offered and it was really really good.
that'll be all from us today thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye